studio, in our drawing studio, and Grayson came over and she said, what's that? What do you see here? Numbers. A, B, C. A, B, C. Okay, what else? Numbers. Where do you see numbers? I see up. Oh, you see dots? Is it reminding you of a dice? Yeah, the numbers on a dice. So this is something that is called Braille. Has anyone ever heard of Braille before? So, there's a word called ability. Do you know what it means, oh, yeah. an ability? Yeah. What does it mean? What does ability mean? It means you can do it. It means you can do it. Okay? Everyone in this classroom has the ability to see. Can everybody see? Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's people in our community and in our, in our world, in our school, in our Nazi, who maybe don't have that ability to see. I knew that. You knew that? Thank you. So, when we're looking at a book, what do we use to see the book? Eyes. Eyes. There was a man named Louis Braille who said, hey, you know what? It doesn't feel fair that he, he was blind and he couldn't see. So the word for that is blind. You can't see. And he said, it doesn't feel fair that I can't look at books because I can't see. I don't have that ability the same as some other people. So he created something that we call Braille, which is a way for those who can't see to use their fingers to read. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So they have to learn a new kind of alphabet by using their sense of touch, by using their fingers and their hands to feel the different... And some people can't feel. Oh, so then I wonder what they would do to be able to read. Oh, I see. Paper, it's flat, but usually braille, the dots are raised, they're bumpy, so you can feel the different letters. It's tricky and it can take a while to learn, but it's a way for those who are blind and don't have the ability to see to be able to read because reading is so much fun. And this book is actually all about Louis Braille and about how he developed Braille. Should we read it? Read it? Should we read it? Okay. A story of young. And there it is again, the Braille alphabet. <laughs> the Braille alphabet. Oh, God. Oh, God. This, this match up, is that in uppercase or lowercase? Lowercase. Okay. This book is called Six Dots. On the day I was born, Papa announced, announced me to the village. Here is my son, Louis. The neighbors came, clucking their tongues, whispering, too small, he won't survive. Sometimes babies are born what we call premature, and sometimes they're really, really small. When they're born, they weren't quite ready to come out, and they need a little extra love and a little extra attention from doctors. So it sounds like maybe he was a premature baby. Oh, but I did survive. I was a curious child, and my eyes studied everything. Maman's gentle face, lace draping my cradle, the smooth shape of a bread loaf on the table. I grew strong and healthy. When I rode to the baker's on my brother's broad shoulders, or fed the chickens with my sisters, the villagers waved and smiled. So handsome, they cried. And clever, too, my sister said. At three years old, I knew everyone by name. I counted the eggs in my sister's basket, the birds in the trees. I repeated stories I heard. Where's her sister? Maybe this picture? I don't, know. I don't know if she's in this picture. Can you sit back so everyone can see? <coughs> Maybe that's her mom. Maybe his mom. But what I loved most was to watch 